Hello guys, today I want to show you a relatively new package called Approval by Chris Miller from Leeds UK, which is for approving the models before the data is persisted. So basically, save the model in a temporary location until someone approves it, and then it is saved in its own database table. And this is an interesting package, kind of a tricky one, because it does only part of the job of approval, and then you need to take care of the other part yourself but I will still show that to you because it seems a lot of people like the idea with 157 GitHub stars. And in the comments, let's discuss together how you would maybe improve that package or use it, or maybe you have other packages with the same idea to recommend. So what that package actually does is saving the data, the temporary data in the temporary table called approvals with JSON structure of the actual model which uses polymorphic relations to your actual model, for example, post, and then that data stays in that table until someone approves that. The best way is to demonstrate. So for example, in the postman, I try to create a new order, but the order isn't saved in the order table. Order controller does this, so should create the order, but on the order model, we have use must be approved trait and I already installed that package and migrated its data and config and all of that and the result of that is this in the order table if we refresh it is empty but there's approvals table which has this data so approvalable type and id is polymorphic relations to orders the state is pending which may be approved or rejected and then there's new data, JSON structure, what should be the data of that model. And then what should happen with that model, you ask me? This is where the package doesn't perform the full cycle of the model, and in the readme, it specifically says, this package does not approve or deny the data. It just stores the data into the database, and then you implement a function to approve or deny. So, in your Laravel project, you should build some kind of admin panel for approval, which would have function to change this one to approved, or maybe delete the data from here and save that JSON structure into the actual model of orders. So this package would not do that for you. Also, another questionable thing is that approvalable ID is null. There is no ID of the order until it is approved, which may be okay, but it may also lead to inconsistency of data if the orders or other data is approved in a different, well, order. What makes more sense is updating the data, for example, if the order is already saved. So, for example, let's disable that trait for one experiment, then we generate the order, now it is saved in the database. In the orders table, we refresh and we have that data with ID 2, and then we try to update that ID 2 with put request to API orders 2, for example, with the order amount of different order amount. Then we enable that trait again. That update is in my controller here. And now what happens? We send the request. This is the result. And in the database, what do we have? We refresh the orders doesn't change the data. The approvals has this. And this makes more sense. Approval of changes on the existing model. Original data, then we have new data, which is with a six at the end, then we have approvalable ID and pending. So probably this is more realistic scenario that this would trigger some kind of email to some kind of admin who would go and change this status to approved or rejected and then update the original model. Also, this package has a few more features, like you can use scopes of getting the approval, approve a specific model, or disable the approvals for some cases. So these are just small features. But generally, in my opinion, this package is a good example of how to quickly install and add some functionality, but also you need to do quite a lot of manual work to build the full function until the end. But that makes sense in the case of this package because that package doesn't really know how you would approve the data. For every case, for every project, that process may be very individual and very different. Again, getting back to you, what do you think about this package? Or maybe you have similar packages to recommend, which work with the workflow of data to approve or maybe change the state of the data or something like that. Shoot in the comments below. And if you want to support my work here on this YouTube channel to get daily videos, 
go to laravaldaily.com, subscribe to the membership yearly or monthly, and then you would get access to courses, currently 25 courses from what I remember, also premium tutorials available only for premium members and more features in the future. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.